So let's talk about a property of alkanes. This can become really important when we start talking about reactivities and basically why these chains are able to pop around. So here I've got a really simple alkane, ethane. And unfortunately, this is the best modeling kit I could get, but here we have it. Now we've got CH3, CH3, and between the two we have a carbon-carbon bond. Now, if we look at the electron density between these two atoms, they're basically end on end orbitals touching together, and this is what makes the bond. So what can happen with alkanes is that they can actually start rotating along this bond. And the reason that this is possible is that if we look, if we were to break the bond between the two, it would just look like we split the bond down the center. So the only way they need to form a bond is to be touching end to end. And because of this, if we have an alkane, we actually get bond rotations. And this can give us different geometries of the different atoms. So if we look down the bond length, we can have a situation where the atoms are basically overlapping. So we have two atoms on top, matching with two atoms on bottom. Now, as you may expect, this is actually a less stable configuration. The reason being is that we kind of have steric effects. This is a really long bond. It's just what I had the kit. But typically what this does is it kind of forces these atoms, to be, these atoms on the ends to be close to each other. But if we rotate it about, I think it's 60 degrees, we can get a situation where if we look down the bond, it looks like none of the atoms see each other. And this is going to be the more stable configuration. That said, even though there is an energy penalty for them to be overlapping like this, to be eclipsed, the energy penalty is not so large that we can't reach this at room temperature. So when we look at the physical properties of alkanes, one of the things we see is that the chains tend to be pretty floppy. They can rotate all over the place and they can change their angle, the angle of the, the torsional angle, the angle between these two atoms relative to each other, pretty easily. When we talk about the next video about the properties of alkanes, we're going to see that this isn't true and there's a good reason for it.